I wanted to share with you our production rates for painting siding. Also the three factors that we take into account when we're putting our production rates together. So you can use these when putting your production rates together. I'm Ron Ramsen, DYB coach, also painting contractor. We get a lot of this siding up here in New England, especially homes from 1990 and above. So production rates and being accurate mean a lot to us. Well, the three factors that I want to look into is condition. Not the condition because we're assuming our prep has already been accounted for, but the actual condition. So we have a rough side and we have a smooth side on these depending on which way the uh, carpenter or builder puts them on the house. The rough side take a little longer if you're using a brush. Also the condition I mean is are we working from the ground level? Are we working on a ladder? Are we working 20 feet in the air? Also, are you working on a sunny side of a house, 20 feet in the air, and you gotta keep them the wet edge so we don't end up with lap marks. And if you don't know what lap marks is, it's when we have twice as much paint on certain areas while you're moving your ladder and you end up with a stripe when it dr dries. Or maybe a few weeks later, then it'll really become predominant. So we don't want lap marks. So those are all things to consider. Height, uh, uneven t um, area where you're working from, you'll end up uh, changing your production rate. Your production rate will actually go lower uh, when you run into those variables. Secondly, application. How are we putting it on? We actually have different uh, production rates for different applications. Of course, as we are spraying, uh, we have spraying and we have spraying and back brushing. Spraying's fast. Everybody loves to spray, gets it done. But we also have to, on the back side of that, take into consideration the prep of masking everything off, covering everything that you don't want any overspray on, and pray it's a nice non-windy day. So then we have spraying, and then we have spraying and back brushing. That would be one rate. And then the next one would be using maybe something like a hot dog roller, sausage roller, uh, a whizzy, whatever you call it. You may use a brush, you just cut it in really quick and then you use those to roll out the side. That goes very fast. And then thirdly, we have, we, we've been using a brush, maybe a three or four inch brush. The production's gotta go down a little bit uh, and some people prefer, some homeowners want everything brushed. So we also have a production rate with that. And a little key there is you wanna discuss application process with the homeowner because a lot of painters won't. So if you ask them what they want because everybody's heard these horror stories, you're gonna spray my house. Well, you gotta let them know spraying isn't bad if it's going to be back brushed in most cases. So we have those production rates for different things. And then thirdly, we wanna keep into consideration is the experience of the applicator, the painter the craftsmen, whatever you call them. Are they a brand new person? Are they a greenhorn? Are they just learning? Maybe they've only been painting for a month. Uh, some of us call them apprentices. You can call them what you want. They're newbies. They're newer painting. They don't have the experience as a uh, person who's been in the field for a few years painting the, sub the same substrate. So we have to take that into consideration. Well, today we took a newer painter we have who's only been with us for a little over a month, maybe six weeks now, and we gave him a section to paint and, and we actually timed him. I like timing things on the half hour because during the hour other things, they stop to chat with someone or things like that. The phone might ring and they get a text. They do check it and there's nothing you can do about that. So we, we time everything on the half hour and then times it by two to get our one hour production rates. And we found an eight by eight area. Uh, he did need a four foot ladder to get the first couple uh, pieces of siding way up at the top. Uh, it took him 31 minutes. So what we factor in is eight by eight is 64. So we have 128 square feet per hour with a four inch brush came out great that was the first coat the second coat's got to go a little faster because everything is it just it the paint just moves from there and then on the another section we did an eight by eight we actually had a door in between it worked out perfect that section he cut in a little bit and then he used the hot dog sausage roll or whatever you call it the whizzy and he finished the eight by eight the 64 square feet in 20 minutes so you got to see quite a savings using that whizzy roller so depending on the application process is going to change your production rates. So my production rates is either 64, 100, 128 square feet per hour for application. So that gives me a great idea when I'm actually measuring out the side of a house, when I have square footage of siding and I don't minus for windows, how many hours it's going to take to put the first coat on. And then when they're applying the second coat, we're going to measure again. I hope this helped. 
So my production rates, once again, I'd like to share them with you. It's 128 square feet an hour for a person who has a little experience with a brush and a roller wise, we can do that in 40 minutes with the 128 square feet in 40 minutes. Or if you can, you could actually, it's 100, 100, 180, about 200 square feet an hour when you're using a brush and a whizzy. So anyways, I hope that helped. If I can help with anything, if you need a production rate on something and we're working on it, please ask away. We will measure the next time we can and I will share those with you. I'm Ron Ramsen, DYB Coach, also a painting contractor. You can find me at ron at dybcoach.com. You can also find me on Facebook. Send me a message. I would love to chat with you. Happy painting.